Hi folks, it's Nigel from Ambling Trails. Today we're going to start our virtual journey at the historical Turton Towers before we move on to Whale and Jumbles Reservoir and including two old villages of Edgeworth and Chapeltown. So, less talking, let's get walking. This structure is originally dated as circa the 16th century and apparently refurbished in the 18th century. It's only about 100 metres or so from Turton Tower but it's actually in a private field so hence I can't go up and take a closer look. Um, but it was seen as possibly as a, a place to view the hunt As you walk out of Turton Tower down the road towards the main entrance, if you look over to the south side or the right hand side of the road, a pirate ship. You won't be surprised to hear this was built in 1939 and from what we understand it is possibly one of the best preserved pillboxes in the UK. The reservoir behind me is Jumbles, of which I've done a video on this previously, so if you want to find out any more information, that would be a good place to start. We're heading in a northerly direction over towards the Whale Reservoir, but we're following this water stream into Edgeworth. So you can see just over in the distance there, this was previously a quarry area. Could I convince you? of the nice beach that we have here alongside Bradshaw Book against the backdrop of the industrial heritage. So these flagstones came from one of the old mills nearby and obviously been put to good use. Now we're just getting to the outskirts of Edgeworth. So there we go, a birdhouse with a slate roof. Now we're leaving Bradshaw Brook and heading to the outskirts of Edgeworth now. So the giant chimney that you see behind me is actually called Old Russia Lodge Chimney. But I love the story regarding how it's got its name. Um, so if you were actually sent to work near the chimney, um, which was away from the 
main body of the um, mill, then he was actually um, being sent to a place where it was cold as old Russia. So in the distance we can see the spire of St Anne's Church in Chapel Town, which is where we're eventually heading to. And at the same time, we're heading to Edgeworth and we can see the spire of the Methodist Church. We're now walking through the woodland walkway that connects us to the back of the Barlow Institution, which we will come to shortly. So we're now in Edgeworth and I'm actually sat outside the Barlow Institute and this was actually a gift from Sir Thomas Barlow who was actually the physician to Queen Victoria. Um, the premises were actually opened in 1909 and the list of the amenities at the time is actually quite endless. So I'm going to refer to my list here, so just hang on a minute. So they actually had um, the recreation ground uh, which consists of bowling green they also had a cricket pitch, they had the woods that we've just walked through, had an outdoor swimming pool, tennis court, football pitch, a maze, oh yeah, and a decorative um, park with a lake, a boating lake. I don't think there was actually much they were short of. Oh, and inside they actually had um, reading rooms and also um, private bath so um, you could take your towel along and have a private bath because obviously not every household would have had a bath in those days um, so yeah you could have a complete clean and um, be what can I say physically fit and mentally fit with everything they had um, so yeah a great dedication um, from one of the sons of Edgeworth and a great man of his time So this is the side of the farmhouse. I'll show you the front. So it's a very old building. So we can see the overflow is actually overflowing, given all the recent snow and rain we've had. Just love the symmetry of this house. Also, so this is the crest of arms on the side of the old school. So this is what happens when you're built in 1714. You're in need of repair. And the Cheetham Arms has been serving beer since 1746. Of course, in Bank Street, you'd expect to see Williams and Deacon's Bank. So this is the old cobbled road going up to the station, Chapel Town, which was opened in 1848 and closed in 1962. So this is where the station would have been situated and you can actually see the platform there what is referred to as a low step platform for obvious reasons in 1835 james k bought turn tower soon after he'd bought the tower um, there was discussions about building a railway line between bolton and 
Blackburn. After various considerations, it was agreed that he would become a board member as the railway line was going to pass through his land. Also, that he needed at least two bridges to cross from the tower to his fields and condition was that these would be built in the style of the tower itself so essentially they had to build medieval turreted bridges across the railway and then thirdly he had his own private entrance to the station at Chapel Town. built in the early 1400s and would have consisted of three floors with the lower floor being used for cattle and the second floor as a kind of kitchen dining room and the third floor would have been where people slept. In 1628 it was sold to Humphrey Cheetham and in fact the crescent and the shield of Cheetham is found um, all around this particular area so we saw the Cheetham's arms um, earlier and that obviously had the crest and there are many places around here that um, are in the name of Cheetham. Obviously in Manchester we have the Cheetham Music School as well as the Cheetham Public Library um, and behind us there's actually a hill called Cheetham Close as well. So yes quite famous in these particular parts. Mm -hmm. 